Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2017 Winnebago Mini 2201DS. It's going to be a fantastic rear bath floor plan, but let's go ahead and start up front. We'll make our way back and then head on in. So one of the things you'll notice right as soon as you walk up to the coach is going to be this right here, which is the power tongue jack. This of course is going to make it really easy to connect or disconnect the trailer and you don't have to sit here and wear your arm out by cranking it up and down. Also, it'll have an exterior light there in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Behind that is going to be a place for your um, propane as well as your battery. And then this is going to be diamond plating. So that way any rocks or things that get thrown up by the tow vehicle are just going to hit this diamond plating and not scratch up your beautiful fiberglass exterior. Speaking of the fiberglass, one of the things I really love about the Winnebago products, uh, you can see the shine in this exterior. This is going to be the cherry red. This is going to be a true pour gel coat exterior. When it comes to RVs, it's going to be one of the top of the line. Uh, think of this as uh, very similar to bolt construction. You know, that way you can buff it, it'll keep that shine and luster, stay looking beautiful forever. Very similar construction process in this exterior, so very high end fiberglass. Let's go ahead and take a look right here. Nice big pass through. You can see plenty of room in there. It has a light as well, so if you do need to access it at night, you can certainly uh, be able to see what you're doing. The other thing I like about it is you're going to have the same size door on this side as the other side, nice wide door, so you can fit larger items from either end. Power awning, it's going to stretch almost the entire length of the trailer, you can see that goes all the way to the back. Super simple to use, of course, just one person operation, touch a button, that's going to roll out, touch the button, rolls back in. Right here is going to be your main entryway, so two steps, you'll see also have a grab handle. This is going to help assist you into the coach. This does fold over during travel, of course, as well. Right here is going to be where the outside TV goes. So if you do want an outside TV, they went ahead and told you exactly where the backer was to mount your bracket. Hookups right here for cable as well as power. And if you notice, that is also going to be located underneath the awning. So that way you can bring that awning out, help so the sun's not shining on the outside TV. Set up camp right here exactly where you want it. Outside speakers as well. So if you want to listen to music outside, you can certainly do that. Those will be controlled by the multimedia center inside, but it is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet or other device that has Bluetooth capability, you can go ahead and connect to that wirelessly and control it from out here. Let's go ahead and open this up. This will be the outside kitchen. So nice outside kitchen. Uh, you can see you have a fridge here for all of your condiments and beverages. Sink right there, some extra countertop space, an additional plug-in, as well as a two burner cooktop. You can see that right there. So this one is kind of cool because this coach is actually going to have two propane quick connects. You will have one right underneath here, which is mainly going to be for your cooktop. But if you want to plug in like a grill or something like that, you can uh, certainly do that. Also up front by your pass through storage is going to be another propane quick connect. So it's really neat. There's going to be two of them on here so you can kind of pick and choose where you want to cook at. Rear mounted ladder. This is so you can get up on the roof for any kind of maintenance. Uh, fully walkable roof on here. I like having the ladder attached because that way you don't have to bring one with you. Bringing a ladder takes up a huge space in your pass through, so having it attached right here is very beneficial. Also, if you take a look at the roof line, you can see it's going to have a nice curve to it. Uh, that way, any rainwater is not going to sit up on top. It's naturally going to run to the sides. Rear rain gutters will take it to the front and back so it's not falling down on your campsite. Spare tire right there mounted on the uh, bumper, of course, that is going to come with a cover too to help keep it out of the elements. As we come around to the off door side here, a couple quick things of note. It does have a detachable power cord right there. The uh, thing I like about a detachable power cord, and that one is going to be a 30 amp by the way. The thing I like about a detachable power cord is you can take it inside with you. You don't have to you know, have a big hole in your unit where mice or ants or anything are going to crawl up inside there. Also outside shower, both hot and cold access. And you have black tank flush. I like the black tank flush if you're not familiar with that. Uh, what that is, instead of having to take a hose and put it down your toilet to wash out your black tank when you're done camping, just hook it right there. You'll have sprayers built in inside the black tank that'll wash it out for you. 
satellite and cable hookup right there, and then this is going to be our slide. So we go inside, we'll take a look at that slide and the rest of the floor plan. Let's go check it out. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Winnebago Mini 2201DS. This particular model is going to be in the mineral interior. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. Take a look at the storage. Right as soon as you walk in, you have excellent storage compartment. It's going to be underneath your big countertop, uh, but it's just great to have that right there. Again, though, big countertop. It is going to be usable. You have a sink top cover here, which is great. This is going to be cutting board quality, so you can flip that over and use it as a cutting board. And then when you're done, flip it right back over so it uh, maintains its good looks. This is going to be your double bowl stainless steel sink, high-rise faucet on there in order to aid in doing dishes. Underneath right here, you can see three full extension ball bearing drawers. Uh, love to have that great extra storage area right there. You'd be amazed at how many travel trailers in this size don't have drawers. They just don't have a good place to put silverware and obviously not the case here. Open this up. You can see right there, other sink top cover, uh, excellent storage right down below there too. Not only do you have the sink top covers, you also have the cooktop cover. And again, uh, you know, when you have this size trailer, I like having those covers because it really gives you the extra prep space that you need. Of course, if we lift this up, you will notice this is a three burner Atwood cooktop. Your high uh, burner or your front burner there is going to be high output. Underneath that is your standard oven in case you want to do a little bit of bacon while you're on the road. Up top is your fully functional hood with a light and fan, microwave. There's the weight of this unit, 5,180 pounds, so it is going to be relatively lightweight, which is fantastic. And then right there, additional extra pantry space. Uh, I like the doors on here too. If you see, they're solid doors, so that's uh, really nice. I like that they do that. Again, just showing you the quality in the Winnebago. Fridge-freezer combo right here, plenty of space, everything that you're gonna need. Uh, this is going to turn off both propane and electric and it'll have automatic switch over for you as well. So that way if you are running it off of propane, as soon as you plug in the shore power, it's gonna switch over, saving you on your gas. Then straight across from your fridge, take a look at that, excellent pantry space. So plenty of room for all of your food goods. Right over here is the slide. So nice big U dinette in this slide. Uh, I like they did this, uh, you know, because this kind of takes place of the couch because there's plenty of room. If you can see, you have cushions right back here, so you can lean back, put your foot out, you know, your feet out here if you want, or if you want to drop this table down, you know, fill it in with cushions. You can make this into a big giant bed, whether you want to use a sitting space or sleeping space if you do have additional guests. This is uh, will be large enough you can easily sleep to adults. Light right up here, of course. Nice Nice big window, the beautiful mineral interior you can see, and you have storage in each corner. So when you're sitting in the u dinette you want to watch TV, not a problem, because right here is going to be your entertainment center with your Jensen 28-inch TV. Really cool thing about this TV, it is going to be uh, on a swivel box, so you can pull this pin out, then you can swivel this around, so if you want to watch it in the bedroom, you can easily do that. Storage right here up top, as well as storage down below. And then right in the center is the Jensen Multimedia Center. So I did touch on this when we were outside. That does control your speakers outside. Again, Bluetooth capable. Of course, it will also control your speakers in here. That's going to be a radio CD player and a DVD player. So if you do want to watch a movie, pop it in there and it'll pop up on your 28-inch TV. One of the other things I do like to talk about, these are Jensen name brand. While it may not ring a bell in home electronics, in the RV world, that's going to be top name brand electronics. Uh, reason is it's that they're built specifically for the RV industry to be able to withstand a lot of the temperature extremes as well as the shakes and vibrations from going down the road. So that is a big benefit to you to have that in, uh, those name brand electronics. Speaking of electronics, one last thing is going to be plugins. Uh, sometimes I just like to show people where they're going to be. Right underneath the slide here, you can see you do have a plug in there. So if you are sitting in the U dinette and need to do some work, you can easily plug it in. Also, you do have a plug in right here in the kitchen. So if you need to plug in your coffee maker, you can plug it in right there. And say same thing right here, an additional plug-in there. The bedroom of the 2201 features the swivel TV, as I mentioned, so you can just turn that right around. Queen bed here as well. This does lift up. It will be strut supported, so it's nice and easy to access. You can see right there is going to be your propane tank cover, but excellent storage underneath the bed. On one side of the bed, you'll have nice big hanging wardrobe space, as you can see. Storage across the top. LED lights, the, the, uh, the LED lights will be throughout the coach, but you do have extra LED reading light right there, 
So if you want to sit in bed, read a book, you can certainly do that. Then over on this side, you have a huge shelf here with a plug-in, which I really like because if you do have a CPAP machine, a lot of times it's hard to find a place to put them, not in the 2201, you have a spot right there. And you also get a nice large drawer. All right, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the front area. Let's go take a look at the bathroom. The rear bath in the 2201 is absolutely massive. A ton of space back here, which is phenomenal. You can take a look, you can see right there's the porcelain toilet, plenty of leg room all the way around here. Now, because you have so much space, they really do a great job utilizing it. You can open this up and look at that. Wardrobe for days, a ton of room. You can hang everything you need. Extra shelf up top here as well. And because there's so much bathroom, space you can hang the majority of your clothes there because you have plenty of room to be able to change here if you want a linen closet massive linen closet right here all the space you're gonna need for your towels your uh, bathroom accessories and just a ton of great room here I really love the bathroom in the 2201 then neo angle shower in the corner. Uh, I love the doors they put in here too. You can see they're going to be on a track and they're going to be uh, they're going to be on rollers, so they stay within the shower pan. That way, all your water is going to stay in the shower pan. It's not going to end up all over your floor. You have some shelving space in there too for shampoo and everything, hand wand, and you have the skylight up top, which lets in a lot of natural light and gives you some additional headroom. Then right over here, uh, mirrored medicine cabinet. You do have storage behind that. Then take a look at how big the countertop is huge countertop space in here which is great stainless steel bowl you know nice high-end bowl uh, some a switch underneath here for your lights there's gonna be a plug-in for hair dryer anything else you need and a little bit of additional storage underneath all right folks that's pretty much gonna wrap it up uh, again this is a 2017 Winnebago mini 2201 DS. It's a fantastic couples coach, great floor plan, high-end amenities from the beautiful exterior to everything you have inside, huge rear bathroom with the wardrobe. Uh, you get the slide here with the massive dinette. This really is one you want to come and take a look at and it's all going to be under 5,200 pounds. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you have particular questions about specs, whether it be the length or tank sizes, I encourage you to visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com, and all the information will be listed there. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.